Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to check out an example of the multiplication rule using a standard deck of cards. So let's jump in. In the first question, we're looking at what is the probability of drawing two aces with replacement? So with replacement means we're going to draw one card, record what it is, put it back in the deck, and draw another card. That makes our two draws independent, so we can use the independent version of the multiplication rule. So that means the probability of getting an ace and an ace with replacement will just be the probability of getting an ace times the probability of getting an ace. Now there are four aces out of 52 cards, so if we do four out of 52 times 4 out of 52, then we can multiply that and get our reduced probability of 1 out of 169. So the probability of first drawing an ace and then drawing an ace again with replacement is 1 out of 169. Okay, second one, drawing three face cards with replacement. So again, with replacement makes each draw independent. So that would be the probability of a face card and a face card and a face card. That would just be the probability of a face card times itself three times. Or we could think of that as cubed. So first of all, let's think about what's the probability of drawing a face card. Well, there are 12 face cards out of 52 cards. Now before I cube that, I'm going to go ahead and reduce. 12 out of 52 is 3 out of 13. So when I cube that, 3 cubed is 27 and 13 cubed is 2,197. So our probability of drawing three face cards with replacement is 27 out of 2,197. All right, guys, in the third question here, what is the probability of drawing five red cards without replacement? Now without replacement, if we're not putting the card back, that makes each draw dependent on the previous draw. So the probability of red and red and red and red and red is going to be a little different here. So let's think about the first draw. How many red cards are there out of the first draw? Well, there are 26 red cards out of a possible 52 total cards in the deck. Now, once we have drawn that first red card, our next draw is dependent on that. So how many red cards are left? There are 25 out of 51. For the third draw, it is dependent on the first two. How many red cards are left? 24 out of a total 50 cards in the deck. For the fourth draw, same idea. There are 23 left out of 49 cards in the deck. And for the last draw, there are 22, car 22 red cards out of 48 in the deck. Okay, so doing that multiplication, 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 up top gives us 7, 8, 9, 3, 6, 0, 0, quite a large number, over 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 an even larger number. We get 
if we actually divide those just to get an idea, we can reduce that to 253 out of 9,996. So that's our fully reduced probability. Or to get a decimal answer, I just want to see what that's about. That is about 0 0.025. So about a 2.5% chance of that happening. All right, two more. What is the probability of drawing two even numbered cards without replacement? So again, without replacement makes our draws independent. So the probability, sorry, it makes them dependent. The probability of even and then even. Well, let's see. There are 52 cards for our first draw. How many of them are even? Twos, fours, sixes, eights, and tens are even. That's one, two, three, four, five categories, each with four in them. So there are 20 even cards in the deck. Once we have drawn that first even numbered card, there are 19 of them remaining out of a possible 51 cards in the deck. So 20 times 19 gives me 380 out of 52 times 51 gives me 2,652. Reducing that, I get 95 out of 663 as my fully reduced fraction. And trying to get an idea of what that looks like, converting that to a decimal, that is 0 0.14 approximately. So about a 14% chance of that happening. All right, and last but not least, let's find the probability of drawing three odd-numbered red cards with replacement. So with replacement, that does make our draws independent. So probability of an odd red and an odd red and an odd red with those all being independent will be the probability of drawing an odd red card cubed, since there's three of them. So let's see, there are 52 cards in a deck. How many of them are odd and red? So an odd numbered card, that would be threes, fives, sevens, and nines. For each one of those, there are two red versions. So one, two, three, four odd numbers, each with two red cards. That is eight odd red cards. So reducing that before I cube it, eight out of 52 would be two out of 13 cubed. So two cubed gives me eight, and 13 cubed gives me 2,197. If we wanted to get a decimal approximation for that, just to get an idea, that would be 0 0.0036. All right, guys, that does it for this video with multiplication rule using a standard deck of cards. Until next time, we'll see you later.